to the left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious. Oh, oh, what about that? Well, this needs to be stopped. He needs to be stopped. He's a trucker. To bring it into the knife. This needs to keep concentrating. Mind on the job. Lovely right hand. And that is a knockout there and then. And it's a bad one in the first round. The ring. Look how he targeted the shot. He, he kind of dummied, dummied the jab, then dropped the right hand straight through the middle, kept the punches flying fast and very powerful. And he was out, wasn't he, when uh, the right hand hit? He was out before he hit the ground. Yeah, that Walsh Smith fight, that would be very nice, wouldn't it? Oh, oh, what about that? What about that? And that sends a message and sends his fans delirious. Let's watch again. Oh. It's that with the right hand, I think the left took the most of the damage. Yeah, the left hook, isn't it? Definitely the left hook. And he's supposedly the stronger man. And he's hurt. Yeah. A huge uppercut. Down goes Diaz. A spirit fighter would probably pitch, but I don't think that's what he's going to do. And look at Marquez go to the body. Look at him go to the body and try to set up the finish. And what a right hand. And that will be that. What you just saw was a really good young fighter knocked out by a great old fighter. Absolutely. And you're pound for pound number one. Maybe. He's also looks so much bigger than he does. Yeah, and he's got a 15 pound weight advantage. Right every time he lands a shot, it's, it's abundantly clear. And Benji is. Right uppercut. And you see why we were worried about Joey Gamash, whose eyes were closed well before he hit the canvas. The uppercut was perfect, George. And not only that, he's getting his whole body into it, like one of those home run hitters. Throw a big oh, great shot. Terrific right hand. And a terrific uppercut as well. This needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped. Oh, and the other, the other corner got him down. And he's gone down to another body shot. It's all over. And the Croatian should have been stopped at this stage. He catches him with a shot when he goes down yeah. here. He just kept on throwing. Ooh. Hit a lot of elbows, hit a lot of shoulders, but hit a lot of head, a lot of chin, and a lot of stomach. A That's a good grit, shot. And a bulldog spirit, and he certainly got that. But he hasn't got the answer. The left hook, again, that punch that Palomino hit him with. A marvellous combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. And there it is, the replay. And oh, and that's really painful. Of course, uh, oh, Okay. Yeah, he was. And you know what? To have that kind of hand speed still in power into the eighth and ninth round, it's very impressive. Zab came in 100% prepared, did a job, beat a top rated con contender, and proved that he's ready for elite opposition. Good. That's Great. That's right. Agler. He's Locker. hurt. Come on, he is hurt. It really rocked him another right hand. He's got him in trouble. He's on the ropes, and that's it. Amani knocked right through these very loose ropes into the press row. Here, here's those ropes, those loose ropes. That didn't help. We've been watching these ropes during the preliminaries today and have been critical of them. They were not anchored tightly enough. And here's an example of what can happen. There's no support from those ropes. And a left hand of that stagger Thomas. And a right hand behind. Thomas in trouble again, and now Tyson moves in for the kill. Two uppercuts in the left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble, and down he goes. Seven, eight, nine. It's over. It is over. Thomas did not make it. He took to the body, and now David Benavides comes upstairs and is trying to it's bring it to the knife. Oh, We'll come in the most complete performance of his dossier, David Benavides, finishing off.